How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Toby Eye Tracker for sim racing. So first we have to download the Toby Eye Tracker software which is here. You're going to want to select the Toby Eye Tracking, select the device that you purchased, download the driver, install it, and then go from there. So you want to make sure that the magnet that you install on the bottom is completely centered. Make sure it snaps into place. And once that is done, let's calibrate the display. And in order to make sure that it's working at all times when you're sim racing, you want to make sure you go into the power optimization settings and then enable stay awake mode and turn on screen mode as well. Once that's completed, place the adjustable monitor mount on the top of your monitor. Make sure that this is aligned into the middle of your monitor as well. We can now move this to the top. Make sure that it snaps on as well. Make sure that it's pointing all the way down so it can see your eyes. Let's download FaceTrack No IR. You're going to click on the second link. If you haven't done so already, you can purchase FaceTrack No IR by clicking on the Buy Now button on their website and entering your information. You'll receive an email link with a download link. And once you've downloaded the program and installed the program, we'll head back to the race department page and download the plugin pack one. Hit next. Install all these. You can hit cancel on this B-Joy. Click finish. If you have the Toby Tracker 5, You'll want to download this plugin pack as well. Let's download the last setting file. We'll create a new folder on our desktop and extract the zip files there. Open up FaceTrack No IR. We'll load the settings. You're going to load the Toby General settings. Open. And then every setting that I have, you should automatically have it. But if you have the Toby Eye Tracker 4, the only thing you need to do now at this point is select the Toby 4C and Eye Tracker. Before we go any further, one setting you really want to change is your short keys. You want to ensure your wheel is plugged in before we do this. If you don't know the button number on your wheel, what you could do is open up your game of choice, then go to the controller settings and bind the button you would like to have center the calibration to any setting in game, but make sure you clear it out. Within the joystick settings, select the current wheel you have. And then make sure that it's a button that you rarely use and that you know you're only going to use it for head tracking. And I'm going to hit OK. We're going to hit Start. We'll open up ACC and see what else we need to do in the game. Not much left after this. It's pretty much all set to go. So I'm just going to go into single player, select Drive. Within this camera view, the Toby Eye Tracker will not work. But once you change the setting, to the hood view, to the outside view, and anything in between, it will work within this setting. You can change whether or not you'd like to see the wheel on the display. I decided to turn it off just because it's, as you can see the wheels right here. For ACC, this is all you need. Now for a set of Corsa, the OG one, I don't believe you need anything else. You can just hit go, change your camera in game as well, and then it's all set to go. If you're playing Automobilista 2, Dirt Rally 2.0, or any other sim racing title that supports VR, make sure you launch the game in Steam VR mode. This will enable the head tracking to work in games with this feature. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you found the video very helpful, and I now hope that your Toby Eye Tracker is working 100% in any sim racing game that you want to play. You want to make sure that you stay subscribed because I'm going to be doing a before you find this video on the CSL DD because this boy right here is not as awesome as it seems. You'll want to stick around for that. And as always, Simfin here, peacing out.